What is up, Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider John coming at you with another video. Draft reaction. Ah, uh, man. I like I love doing this shit every year, but uh yeah, man, it, it, this ought to be good. This ought to be good. Uh Roger Cadell staying, you know, came out to the podium yet. As you can tell, there hasn't been any booing. The moment you hear booing, you know that motherfucker's out there. <laughs> uh but Honestly, man, I can't wait. Uh, the, I've been hyped about this shit all fucking day. Um, I can't wait to see what the fuck we do, man. Uh, th this is something that is long time coming, man. Uh, chances are we're not going to be able to trade out to get Jaden Daniels. Uh, chances are that the commanders are going to take him. Don't blame him for taking him. I understand a dynamic player like that. Hey, yo. You got to do what you got to do. Bro, <laughs> this Eminem intro, dude. I gotta tell you, that was a good one. That was a good one. You know, you still gonna get boobed, right? <laughs> Damn. Okay, that, that was actually, I like that one. Yo, they got Barry Sanders, man. They got Megatron, man. Shit. Hey, I gotta admit, it's pretty decent intro. Pretty decent intro. Shout out to M. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, the 2024 NFL draft is now on the way. The Chicago Bears are now on the clock. Woohoo! All right. They're probably going to lay a tick down. They always do. First person to pick always lets the tick down. So we'll see what happens. With the first pick in the 2024 NFL draft, the Chicago Bears select Caleb Williams. Everybody knew that was going to happen. He deserved it. Um, one hell of a player. They got themselves a fucking baller. Um, solid pick. Already Washington. We know what you're going to do. Just do it. Got four minutes left on the clock, motherfucker. All right. Here we go. Can't get mad at it. Disappointed. Can't get mad at it. I get it. You got that. You got to pick that high up. You got to take the best player available. And Jaden earned that. He earned it. Good luck. Unless you're playing us. Yeah, fuck you, Cleef Kingsbury. Fucking Beater. asshole. Sure Cleef Kingsbury is a piece of shit, man. Stepped out on us like a two-time and hoe. We had him under almost under contract, man. He just pulled some bullshit-ass third-year complaint out of his ass and started fucking, you know, bitching, but... Eh. Magic Johnson pulled a quick one on us on that one, but hey, it is what it is, man. He got he got his quarterback, I guess. I think it's probably why he made that decision. Uh, they knew all along they were going to get Jaden Daniels. So. All right, New England is on the clock, and uh, they got five minutes left. Uh, I honestly don't know. Oh, pick is in. 
Oh, Patriots made the pick. No trade. No trade. Patriots made the pick. Interesting. Arizona is officially on the clock. See what happens. So, see, they're going to be Drake May or JJ McCarthy. Uh, Adam Sheffler just said it, or Ian Rappaport. I don't know one of them. Let's see what it is. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Quarterbacks taken. Drake May is now a Patriot. Hmm. Interesting. So, no trade. Drake May has been taken. Arizona's on the clock. They're definitely not getting the quarterback. So, this is the first pick we're going to see. Either someone's going to trade up for a quarterback or they're taking someone other than a quarterback. So, this ought to be interesting. My league neighbors is who they got listed. Best player available for the Cardinals at position need. Uh, personally, I would take Marvin Harrison Jr. That's just my uh, that, that my preference. But uh, Malik Neighbors is a fucking beast. I am not taking anything away from him. I just prefer uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Let's see who they're in. With the fourth pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Marvin Harrison Jr., wide receiver, Ohio State. Called it. What's going on? Up, oh, pick is in. All right. Yeah, take it down to the wire, guys. Any last words? Chargers have made the pick. Uh, New York Giants are on the clock. With the fifth pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Joe Alt, tackle, Notre Dame. Joe Alt. <laughs> Best lineman in the draft, Joe Alt. He looks depressed. All right. Congratulations to Joe Alt. You are going to become Max Crosby's bitch for the next five years. Booker, what would you do if you're the Giants? We told the pick is in, but I don't see the commissioner yet. We have a moment. Oh, there he is. He's now just appearing. All right. Let's see what they take. League neighbors, watch. Here it comes. With the sixth pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Malik Neighbors. Called it. Wow. Called it. Maybe quarterbacks would go one, two, three, and four. Instead, JJ McCarthy still on the board as we get to seven. Titans pick is in. Uh, Atlanta is officially on the clock. Um, I don't know, man. Still I, I don't know who the I don't know who the Titans are going to take. I'm gonna be honest. I have no clue who the Titans are going to take. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see who we got. Who the Titans got, man? Let's see who the Titans got. Of course. Of course. By the way, he was a sprinter in high school Shit. when he was already 6'6 and weighed 300 pounds. Grew up in Wisconsin, five-star recruit, has been on everyone's radar since Pick the Pick up the, one of the best right tackles on the fucking board. All right. Yeah, you have to see Peter Skoransky, right? Last year's guard. Now you have both tackles. Left. 
ever back at number eight. Right now, J.J. McCarthy is on the board. Michael Penix is on the board. Bo Nix is on the board. And the Falcons are strongly considering taking a quarterback at number eight. We'll see if they go ahead and make the first stunning picker tonight. And we'll find that out in just a moment. For and, um, you know, All right. In, uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta's going to pick the quarterback. Titans offense. Yeah, I mean, they want hmm. going in, you know, I just want to just swivel up to the standard of where Alabama is just by working on Quarterback Gritty, after you pay Kirk Cousins, $2 million guaranteed. Hey, I don't get Atlanta, man. But Here you know what? <sighs> With the eighth pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Michael Pennick. Motherfuckers! Jr. Son of a fucking bitch! Holy wow, folks! And so the first stunner. I love it. Wow, stunner I love it. right. I'm, I'm just saying from a stunner perspective. I love wow. it. Wow. Look, we, we we love the drama of the draft. We love the. I wanted him, dude. The draft. You know something was coming. They couldn't just go chalk and right. say yeah. one after another. Now. Do I agree that this is the best use of their draft position at this point? No, I don't. But the fact is, look, Michael Penix has been someone. Okay. Michael can do all that. Official. All. Now, the question is, when I honestly don't know what the fuck we're going to do, guys. It's taking him to 13. The Raiders evidently were trying to trade up. My oh, intel said serious. trade up to get Michael Penix Jr. They had to think about Denver picking one pick ahead. They're in the same division. Who would have thought Atlanta, though, would make this group? I didn't see it coming. I don't know who did. Michael, Shefty, that's all right. Let me get to Shefty here quickly. All right. Michael Penix is a really good player. I'm talking to some of the quarterback coaches. Around I don't think we're picking a quarterback, the guys. They said he had the best arm. The what do they feel about her husband's stats? Going forward? That's it. Well, we'll find yeah. out. So the Bears made the first pick of this night, and now they will make the ninth selection. Here's Roger Goodell. With the ninth pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Rome Odunze, wide receiver, Washington. I've seen that coming. The big questions on all the talk shows, Chicago Bears now with Caleb Williams and DJ Moore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trade just happened. Trade just happened. Minnesota just traded up. Minnesota just traded up. Damn, man. Damn. So, look, guys, I mean, I think it's funny how everybody points out, like, yeah, he, he's going to be available late in the first round. You can trade up and get this guy. But nah, dude. Nah. There's so many other fucking teams that want a quarterback right now. If you're not aggressive, if you're not making any fucking moves, you're going to be left out in the cold with your fucking hands in your pockets, man. There ain't shit to show for it. You, you, you got to make a fucking move, man. I'm fucking mad right now. That, that really pissed me off right now. Like, I... You let the Atlanta Falcons just take our guy. Like, uh, as far as I'm concerned, like he was the best available quarterback on the board for the Raiders. And if it wasn't uh, Jaden Daniels we were getting, I wanted him. Now I don't even fucking want to pick here, dude. Trade the fuck down. Get the fuck out of this. I don't like JJ McCarthy. I don't like Bo Nix. I don't like, dude. I don't like either of those guys. So if we get either of them, I'm gonna be pissed, man. I ain't gonna lie. If we get the best lineman available, okay, I guess I'll deal with it. Best defensive player available, okay, I guess I'll deal with it. But fucking A, man. I'm so fucking mad. Like, the two players I wanted for quarterback off the board right away. This... All right. That's tough, man. With the 10th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select J.J. McCarthy, quarterback, Michigan. Are you hearing the ovation? There have to be some mixed emotions in this room. They love them here, having led Michigan to a national championship. But now he goes to All right, well. All right, it is what it is, guys. That's a... With the 11th pick in the 
and the 2024 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Olum Fasanu, Tackle, Penn State. I like him. Those Jet fans should be happier than they look. He's 6'6", 312 pounds, a consensus All-American in the Big Ten's offensive lineman <laughs> of the year in 2023. I like him. That's what this night is about. Solid player. Just got a solid protector for Aaron Rodgers. He started 21 games. Oh, shit. Pick is in. Raiders are on the clock, baby. Raiders are on the clock. All right. Raiders are on the clock, guys. All right. Denver's pick is in. They're staying. What are we doing? What are we doing? Hurry up. Move along, move along, move along. Y'all still fucking talking about the... See, I hate... I absolutely hate the way they go about doing this because it's like they're talking about a pick that happened two two teams ago. God help me, please don't let us pick Bo Nix. I don't like Bo Nix, guys. I'll be honest with you, I just don't like him. I don't know what it is. If we pick him up, I'll be forced to support him. But honestly, guys, I don't I don't really like Bo Nix. I get why they're on commercial. I mean, the, the Broncos it's pick is in. They're not going to discuss about the Broncos. I mean, who gives a fuck about the Broncos, right? The goal of the year. <laughs> Just playing. With the 12th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Bo Nix, quarterback of Oregon. Of course. And so here we are, 12 picks into this draft. Six quarterbacks already off the board. Not a single defensive player has been selected. Let's talk about Bo Nix. He has played a lot of football. Three years started uh, before transfer. Told you. I remember before this uh, before this video, I went out and said, like, that dude just looks like a Bronco. He just looks like a fucking Bronco. Bo Nix just looks like a fucking Bronco to me. It's like he, his, his aura. I don't know what the fuck you would call it. Looks like a Bronco. So I was like, eh, I kind of seen that coming. I didn't think he'd get past the Broncos. I really don't give a shit. Look, this is how much they juice the clock, dude. It barely talking about what the what pick went down. We got three minutes left on the clock for the Raiders. That's how much they avoided talking about the Raiders. This whole fucking time, I swear to God, it's been at least five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes or some shit when you finally go pants it, pants that team that's on the clock. Uh, it barely showed our logo come up, and it's three fucking minutes left on the clock. Pick is in! Pick is in! Raiders are picking somebody up. Pick is in! Raiders, Raiders, no trade, no trade. Raiders pick is in. Alright. Yeah, fuck this team. I don't give a fuck about this team. Fuck the Broncos. I don't want to keep talking about the Broncos. Just fucking fuck these guys. I don't give a shit. Who the Raiders get? Who the Raiders get? Everybody got picked before us, guys. <laughs> uh, so for all you guys saying that we should tank like all you guys saying that you know see this is why we need to just tank a season to get the best uh, quarterback available fuck you kick a man while he's down why don't you I don't want to hear it guys I don't give a fuck alright let's see what we do in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Brock Bowers, tight end Georgia. What? 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 Valley, three-time All-American. He's the third Georgia. Are you? Are you? What? A tight end? Are you fucking kidding me? You could have gotten the best lineman available. Look at all the defenders you could have got fucking gotten. Oh. What the fuck? Every fucking year. Oh my. You had an alpha dog cornerback available on the fucking board. Why do we always do this shit? 
All right, look, I ain't. Look, guys, Brock Bowers is a good fucking player. I'm not talking shit about Brock Bowers. He wasn't a need. He was not a need. We have weapons. I don't. She just fed the defense, man. Our Brock Bowers is a he's a good player, guys. Best tight end available. Man, Mark Davis looks pissed. I I'm in shock, guys. Like every fucking year, I shouldn't be surprised, man. I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, this this I'm fucking mad, dude. If we were gonna stick where we were, we should have got someone that was gonna impact a position of need. The more things change, the more things remain the same, man. And I'm kind of over it. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking over it. I I'm not even gonna watch the rest of this fucking draft. I'll I'll go off of alert. I'm fucking over it, guys. I cannot stand when we pick players. Like, I didn't even do a video on tight ends, guys. That's how much I did not think we were going to draft a tight end. I didn't even look into the tight ends. I knew who Be the fuck Bauer was only because of shit that, um, when it comes to NFL Network doing, you know, player profiles and shit like that, he popped up. That's the only reason I even know this kid. That's it. That That's the only reason I know he's a good player. But other than that, I didn't, I don't know why the fuck we went this route. Okay, let's get this over with. I need that. I I just can't believe it, guys. I mean, Brian Murphy was on the board. Terry on Arnold was on the board. Mitchell was on the board. Fuaga was on the board. There were so many fucking people that, other than this pick, we could have gotten at a position of need that could have made more sense. He's a good player. All right, I'm not I'm not I'm not taking anything away from the fact that this guy's going to probably be a baller. Hopefully he shuts me up and makes me regret this video, but as of right now, my team just pissed me off. All right. I'm done, guys. Uh if they trade back into the first round or some shit, uh, I'll come back on, but I, I don't know what else to say. That, that I'm I'm in shock right now, man. I, I can't believe we just did that again. 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 Alright. Y'all know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Go Raiders.